Hi guys and welcome to another Kamikaze creation video. Uh, it's been a little while. Uh, I've had a few things going on uh, that I need to address at home um, uh, in renovations and things like that. Uh, so I haven't been working on the car too much, um, but I have made a bit of progress over the last few days and I'll start to show you what I'm up to. I've also been doing a lot of posting uh, just on my Instagram account, Kamikaze Creations. Just photos of what's going on around the place. I bought a new bike, which has taken a little bit of my attention too. Uh, you'll see heaps of photographs of that. Uh, it's a new Ducati 900 Super Sport 993 model. Uh, and it's a beast. So I spent a fair bit of time working on that in the shed, which I didn't do any filming on. But you'll see a heap of those pictures over on... Um, over on Instagram, so uh, I might do a few uh, shorter videos in the future. Uh, might pump a few out over there, but uh, we're back on uh, and doing this Tirana. So the engine's in there. Um, I've actually hooked up the steering column, um, and I've got a lot of the wiring done, uh, and the ignition lights are coming on now, and. Uh, getting close so I'm just working on the manifold at the moment and I'll show you a little bit about what I'm doing there and why I'm doing it but we'll have a look in the engine bay first so I bought that uh, wiring harness you can see up here I bought it from um, uh, Resto Country I think it is and I bought the um, the distributor and uh, coil which you uh, would have seen on previous videos and I'm just starting to hook all of the starter motor up and getting my battery leads in through to the alternator and these nice braided battery leads coming up to the uh, up to the battery uh, and got it all tucked away out of where the um, extractors are going to go so it's looking pretty nice, looking pretty clean down there with the wiring, and it all seems to function okay. Um, I've got this one wire alternator uh, down here, um, so it basically takes a, a positive. That's the only wire you need to hook up, but I've hooked up the sensor wire to turn on the light in the dash as well. But basically these are a one wire alternator, uh, they're a replacement alternator, not an original. And it's just a positive lead uh, going back to the battery. I've actually got it going to the positive on the starter, which is how I was running it before. Um, and that'll put charge back into the battery. So what I'm working on at the moment is uh, getting the uh, extractors and the manifold on. And I had to drop that sway bar. You can see down the bottom of the sway bar. I had to drop that sway bar down so that I can start to fit it up. And I've always had trouble uh, with misalignment. The face height from the manifold um, surface face to where it clamps is quite often different on the, um, on the extractors and on the inlet manifold. So I'll show you what I'm doing to remedy that problem. I'm just down the back of the shed now and... Uh, setting up the extractors in the inlet manifold and uh, if you've been watching any of my videos over the last couple of years this is where i had a lot of trouble with manifold leaks um, and a lot of it is about the thickness of the manifold to the thickness of the extractor and where it clamps down on there and getting enough pressure on it seems to be i've had a lot of trouble with the exhaust uh, but i've also had trouble with the inlet manifold leaking Anyway, uh, lucky enough to have a spare head sitting around and uh, these are the extractors I'm going to use and I've got, those, uh, I've got those titanium studs in there and I'm j now just cleaning it all up and getting these faces basically pretty close to parallel to each other and then making up some spaces or washers to go in there. So I've got a couple in there, you can see down in here um got one sitting in there and it's pulling down and i've got a couple on the end so i'm just making some round ones now hopefully they'll be pretty universal uh, to fit down uh, and clamp that into place 
So very fortunate to have this little lathe I bought a little while back and I found some uh, bar stock out the back and I'm just going to turn these down, it's basically a 10mm hole in the centre um, turn them down so they'll fit over those studs um, and uh, sit flat on both the faces so we'll get one done and I'll let you have a look at it So that looks pretty good, happy with that coming on it. Um, I've made it about, I think it's six mil thick. Just measured the thickness of the nut, the amount of thread I had there and uh, made it so I got full, full grip on the thread in the nut. And it seems to lock up okay and it looks really neat, which is what I'm happy with. So I'll probably replace a few of these, see if I can get them all pretty much the same uh, all the way through. So I have to still do a fair bit of work on the actual manifold. You'll notice up on these guys, I've thinned out um, this, this area on the manifold here. And you can see I've taken a fair chunk out of here. I have to round it out a bit, make sure she doesn't shear in there. But um, that's just to get the faces parallel so that I'm pulling on both the faces at the same time and uh, getting that grip down onto the manifold face. That looks like a success, and it looks good on there too. Very happy with the end result of this, and I don't know why I haven't done it in the past. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. So, taking all of those faces, mainly on the uh, aluminium manifold, just taking a section out of those, um, to make them parallel with the exhaust flange and uh, then I've made up these round spaces or washers for clamping and they're all identical and uh, using those titanium studs and nuts so uh, she's pulled up nicely as you can see down through the flange face. Still got gasket and goo to go on there, but that's perfect and a great way to do it. Trial assemble it on the bench, and now I can go and fit it all up to the motor and know um, that it's uh, gonna pull down nice and flat, because uh, it's always a hassle. These are the old bodgy washers that I was using, different heights and bits welded onto them and bits taken off them. Um, and change them to this nice standard format. So that should bolt up well, um, and I'll see if I can get that on there today. Well, that would have to be the easiest I've ever put a manifold uh, and extractors on. That planning up the other end and having everything worked out, lined up, all new washers, uh, the faces made parallel to each other. It uh, went on quite easy. It's always a pain putting these on, having the manifold and the exhaust running off the same studs. But doing that prior planning uh, definitely helps. And now that's on there, um, sealed up and ready to go. I've been through the uh, titanium studs a few times. Check the tension on them all. I used some Permatex uh, sealant, some uh, fuel resistant high temp sealant uh, on both sides of the gasket um, and uh, locked it down. So looking good, really happy with that result. Um, I've had a few suggestions about buying an adapter plate or a packer plate more for this because the butterflies on the holly carb run down into here. So I need to order that. Um, I've also got a grommet on order here for the um, PCV valve uh, and I need to buy a set of high tension leads, spark plug leads and then I'm getting really close to uh, giving this a fire up 
So very happy with that result. Uh, a lot of work down the back. That's been sort of two days working on those manifolds, getting them all set up, but definitely, definitely paid off. If it leaks, I'll be very frustrated. Anyway, looking good. So there we are guys, uh, got that manifold and extractors in there, uh, very happy with that result, um, can't wait for those other bits and pieces to come and we can get to the point where we can uh, give this thing a bit of a fire up. It's been a long time coming, uh, back to that standard motor, 173, lumpy cam um, and about well, about 10 to 1 compression ratio, maybe a bit less with the eyebrows I put on the uh, on the bores to clearance those big valves in this uh, Bathurst spec head, head that I got off um, HSD, Head Stud Development, down there in Victoria. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Keep a watch on this space because uh, we're getting really close. Take care. Bye for now.